Hey everyone, this is David Chen, and I'm here with Stephen Tobolowsky. And we're here to talk about the HBO original series, Barry. Barry. Barry is a show I really appreciate because uh, it is about a hitman played by Bill Hader who is trying to uh, develop his hobbies a little bit more and take up acting. Isn't he taking acting classes because he thinks he may actually have talent as an actor? Is that... I think that's part of it. I think the camaraderie and the community of it mm-hmm. is is good. But I also think it's about uh, like he he's followed orders and he's a really tortured person. And I think uh, many people can relate with this idea of uh, just being told what to do for most of your life and not really having any um, self determination, mm-hmm. right? And so I think he's using acting as a way of kind of yeah. finding himself, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Steven, you've seen the acting classes in yep. Barry, and I, you've had kind of strong opinions on these, right? To make fun of acting classes is really low-hanging fruit. <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, because even when everything is done properly, it, it kind of... It, and I, I wonder if it's true with any art form, is, is that any exercise in the realm of art is going to look a little dopey. But I think on Barry... Uh, I think my original feeling was that the acting classes could have been played more realistic and they would be just as funny as opposed to this is a terrible acting class with terrible people in it. But I had another thought about this, David. And that is uh, viewing Barry as a whole is what is the entire story about? And the story, I think, is about what you mentioned. There's, there's a classic idea in screenwriting. Not screenwriting. I should say in dramaturg, generally, is that in the well-created narrative, there's only one character. And everyone else is a force. And if you look at that in Barry, when I first started watching Barry, I started thinking, well, Barry is one of the forces and, and the real character change is going to be Sarah Goldberg. The real character that's going to change is going to be the female actress in the company. But now as I'm watching Barry, I'm going, you know, Barry is, is the character. We see now that Barry is the only real character is that he's changing because now it seems to me that this story is about the dawn of consciousness. That's kind of where we've gotten in the story. For the first time, a wall is broken in his character, and he, he has had a second birth, so to speak, the pain of the birth of consciousness. So using that as a template, I can see how you can say this acting class can be filled with a teacher like Henry Winkler, who's a pretty terrible acting teacher, you know, he, he's, he's full of it. You know, that's, that's, I mean, he's playing it brilliantly, but I mean, that's the part he's playing, is, is that he's, he's kind of a joke, is that he's full of sound and fury but signifying nothing. The other actors in the class are not <laughs> very good at all. But it's not about acting class at all. But it's about what you were saying at the beginning. Each one is having the beginning of consciousness. I think when you see like what Sarah does both on her audition and in her monologue that she did at acting class, you you see somebody who is completely committed to uh, the beauty of both the beauty and the poetry of both a very mundane TV script and a piece of Shakespeare. And that's really what actors try to do. They really try, they really try to find the poetry in everything they do. I know in the acting classes I've taught, people, no matter how much experience they've had, whether they've been on Broadway, whether they've been in TV shows, or whether they've just turned 50 and they always promised themselves they wanted to take an acting class. The thing everyone in my class has led with is kind of their heart. People who are watching Barry and thinking of taking acting class themselves or thinking of becoming an actor, what advice would you have for them or, or how would you explain to them that what they're seeing is not uh, quite what it really is in real life? Like, how would you convey the difference to them? I, I think, again, I have to come back to what you said at the beginning. I think that is very, very true. I think the reason people take acting classes, especially in Los Angeles, is... It's an exercise in consciousness. 
A lot of people do it because they want to be professional actors and they, they want to see where, how they can enter that arena. But a lot of people are doing it just because it's a promise they made to themselves to see how could I be more in touch with who I am? How could I be the most I could possibly be? I think the advice I would give people is when you go to acting class, be the explorer. Don't feel you have to be the master. Be the student. Be willing to fail. That's the hardest thing to do, is being willing to fail. That's one thing I think they depict pretty well on the show, both with Bill and with Sarah's character. They both have to deal with failure a lot. And that I find one of the most moving elements of the show. Barry is on HBO right now, uh, and it's probably has already aired its finale by the time you're watching this video, but we hope you enjoyed this talk. Stephen Tobolowsky's newest book, My Adventures with God, God, is available in paperback right now. It's right? out in paperback now, yeah, you thank can, goodness. You can find it wherever books are sold, and follow him at Tobolowsky on Twitter. You find me at Dave Chensky on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Subscribe or like if you enjoyed this video. Adios.